Hey guys, so we've had a lot of people ask us about what kind of cameras we use and you know most of the time we tell you uh, you know GoPro but we've recently came across this little uh, GoPro vlogging kind of rig setup that you know it's really easy and functional to carry around instead of carrying one of our big mirrorless or uh, DSLR cameras around. Um, Heather, she does not want to lug around some big old heavy camera when she's out with the dogs and stuff. So we came up with this little thing for her. Um, I ran across this little housing, which is really cool. It holds the GoPro audio adapter and the camera and your microphone. So you can have better audio than what the GoPro offers. I came across this, uh, this housing thing and, um, I went to go try to order it and they were already out of stock. But luckily, Frank from the trucking couple, he had got to it before it went out of stock, and he had ordered a couple, and then we ran across them, and he actually gave us this one, this, and the GoPro adapter, because our GoPro adapter stopped working on us. I'll show you how easy it is. Um, we use, uh, it's a, what's called a Rode uh, Video Micro, this up top. Uh, it comes with a really long cable, so I wrap it around just so we don't have cable all dangling off or nothing but let me take it apart and uh, i'll show you how it get, puts together it's really simple we'll have links for all of these down in the description also if you're interested in getting either one of these so let me take it apart real quick and uh, i'll show you uh, what the housing look like looks like all right so this is the gopro uh housing that i mean it's really cool it's just a plastic um, it has this little mic holder that helps elevate your microphone so it doesn't show up on your uh, in your lens. It helps out really good. One thing you uh, did have to do was give this thing a little bit of a haircut. And if you've never seen one of these, what this fur ball is for is it's really good wind protection. So it can be really, really windy, windy outside. And you're not going to pick up all that ruffling wind sound. So um, it's really easy to put together. I also use some dual lock on the side. I don't have the light with us right now. But um, I put some dual lock on this side. It's basically a industrial Velcro. And then I put another piece on the light. And then I could put the light on the side. So we can have a little bit of light if it's darker out. But I'm going to put this thing together. Show you how cool it is. GoPro goes right in the back. Your audio adapter goes under here. Uh, and then it just has uh, the standard GoPro holder. We are using the GoPro 7. But you can use the GoPro 6 or the GoPro 5. Personally, I like the GoPro 6 better. Because it does a little bit better in lower light. With, with the GoPro 7 and the, the stabilization programming in it um if it's the lights too low it it kind of mushes up the video a little bit whereas with the gopro 6 it doesn't do that and it's still got really good stabilization also so um basically you just stick your gopro in there like that through the back then it has this little sliding door that locks the gopro in place you just slide that in the back like that to get it off, you push down on this little corner and slide it out. You got to make sure you take off the little door on the side so you have access to the audio jack or where the adapter plugs into. I don't know what GoPro was thinking with these things. Um, they are an absolute nightmare. They're not very reliable. The, like I said, uh, we got this one when from Frank because ours stopped working. So I, I got two of these on order uh, through Amazon. Uh, I ordered them two weeks ago, and they still haven't shipped yet. I've looked at GoPro's website. They're out of stock, so who knows when they're going to come out with more. When they do, they're probably going to be even worse because they're rushing to get them out. Basically, you slide this. Which way are we going with it? You slide your plug in through the bottom here. So you got to do a little bit of finagling to get it in there. There we go. You just have to bend the cable out like that a little bit. Then it slides in there. Fits in there nice and snug so it's not uh, popping out on you. One thing that we like to do is we take this cable, instead of trying to plug it in this way... We flip it around upside down 
So it plugs in just like that. Then you take your, your Rode Video Mic Micro. You can use any mic you want. Uh, the Rode Video Micro is just really cool because it it get it's, gets its power from the camera where there's other expensive microphones that they need batteries and charging and stuff like that. So the real cool thing about this is it's plug and play. So And it's compact. It's compact. It's really nice and small. Um, it's funny when you're out in public with this thing, people will ask, what it, what it, what's that big furry thing on top? I tell them it's my lucky rabbit's foot. It was a big rabbit. Texas, you know, Texas, we got big uh, things. Jack rabbit. <laughs> That's my lucky rabbit's foot. So um, for the mic, it, it just slides into this little, they're called a cold shoe mount. There are some that are called hot shoe mounts. Hot shoe mounts mean there's electric supplied to whatever you're plugging into it there's like flashes and there are microphones that uh, get its power from that electric connection but this is a cold shoe mount it just slides in then you tighten it down like that then you can twist this around any which way to kind of help minimize dangliness um, then it plugs in right over here just like that and you still got your charging port you can charge through this or you can just unplug this and charge through that now you might be thinking that might be a pain in the butt to get the memory card out it's really not uh, to get the camera out you just unplug your audio adapter slide that off fits in there nice and tight then you can get your memory card out, plug it up into your computer, get your stuff. Or if you don't want to take it out of it every time, you can use your charging cable to plug it up there and then plug the USB into your, your laptop and get your, your footage off that way. And then, I mean, for selfie sticks, just like the microphone, you can use any kind you want. We're using uh, this one. It works as a tripod or... It extends also, and you can use it as a tripod, you know, just like that. Just like any GoPro, goes into the two little slots. You screw it in. Then boom. And then you can swivel the neck any way you want if you want to hold it out real far away and get... You know, show your surrounding or whatever you can. If you want to film up high, if you're in a crowd or something and want to get up high over the crowd, you got the, the extended length of it. Or if you just want to quick little selfie things. This thing's really, really cool. Personally, I prefer the GoPro 6. Like I said, it just, I think the GoPro 6 is a little bit better in lower light situations. But if you mount a little light on the side you won't have no problems with that we've had a lot of people ask about it so we figured we'd share it links will all be down in the description if you're interested in them i didn't even think about doing a test clip with the thing so i wanted to show you guys what it looks and sounds like this is the setup with the the microphone gopro everything the, the selfie stick you can see it's kind of it windy is, yeah it's pretty windy. it's pretty windy out you know you probably can't hear any of the wind uh maybe some background truck sounds and stuff but now let me disconnect the microphone and you can hear what the gopro sounds like then we'll come back and i'll let you hear what it sounds like with the microphone and doing a little bit of audio tweaking so let's unplug the mic real quick so this is the audio straight out from the gopro um I don't know if the microphone is on the GoPro is getting covered up with this uh, housing so I'll have to see how it sounds myself but um, this is GoPro just uh, no microphone plugged up to it at all um, probably getting a little bit of wind sound stuff like that so um, we'll just listen what this sounds like and then I'm gonna plug the mic back up and we'll hear what it sounds like with uh, when I do a little bit audio tweaking in the editing and this is with the microphone uh, doing a little bit of audio tweaking, adjusting the low end and the high end 
so you can still kind of hear yourself when you're talking low and so it doesn't get real loud and then I'll adjust the like the EQ levels of the vocals just to give it a little bit of a more enhanced uh, vocal sound and here's what the stabilization is like with the GoPro it's just absolutely amazing I can see the camera bouncing around in my <laughs> hand right now and it probably just looks smooth as day to you guys so it's a nice little rig for truck vlogging you know oh well, one thing I forgot to mention is you can actually do live video with the GoPro. Oh, yeah. We so, did do a live video with the GoPro, uh, didn't we? Yeah, not too. Yeah, when we first got it, we yeah, tried it out. Yeah. It's it's not too bad. It's in 720 instead of 1080, but when you're doing a live, it don't need to be, like, super good quality, I don't think, you know. So, hope you guys uh, like that, and let's get back to the review. I got another one that I'll do also to make your, if you if you just don't want to buy a GoPro and all this stuff, you can get this microphone that will plug into your cell phone as well. So if you just want to stick with yourself using your cell phone as a vlogging, um, a lot of people do that. You know, it's really not about the camera. It's about the content you provide, the information you share kind of thing, you know. So I'll, I'll be doing another video because I have a similar setup like this that you can use your cell phone with. It has the cold shoe mount for the microphone. This microphone comes with an adapter that plugs into Samsung's or Apple phones. And, and then you could just, basically it's the same rig, but it's a cell phone holder and has the microphone and all that. So I'll do a video on that coming up soon too. Heather really likes this thing just because it's super lightweight and easy for her to carry around and set up and do, do her quick little clips and stuff. So it's a nice little option, you know, if you're going around mats or... Uh, the expos or walking around you just don't want to carry around a big old camera so this is a really good option with the stabilization and all that stuff and we'll we're going to do some more videos on all the other cameras we use and one of these days i'm gonna do the drone one i, I swear i promise one of these days <laughs> it, it's just trying to find the time to break out all three of them and uh yeah one of these days so until our next video peace love and expediting